Hello there. Good morning, guys. My name is Scott Agavelli. I'm from Lake Hiawatha, New Jersey. All right, go for it, Scott. I want to talk about the NBA Finals. Uh, I, I thought it was really, I thought it was great. We got, we, we're going to have a series now. We're 1-1 going to Dallas. And for me, I thought the big edge that Dallas had going into the series that I didn't think a lot of people were talking about was the head coaching. Carlisle, Rick Carlisle throughout the playoffs has really done a great job with this team. A lot of people were convinced Dallas was going to lose to Portland in the first round. And after they blew that big lead in game four uh, up in Portland, I think everybody was convinced this is the soft Mavericks team. They're mentally, they're not, they're not tough enough, and they're probably going home again. Carlisle managed to get them back together, win the last two games of the Portland series, and then really, really did a number on the Lakers. And I thought that Carlisle's an underrated coach as it is. He was really good with Indiana. He's done a nice job here in Dallas. He knows his personnel well. And I thought the one thing he's really done well with this team is he kind of rested his veteran guys towards the end of the year, and they almost seem like they're fresher now. And I think it really came to fruition the other night. He got them in the huddle when they were down 15 with seven minutes left and, and just got them together and said, listen, we're, we're going to pick it up a little bit. We're going to do the job that we came here to do. We're veteran guys. We know we can do this because we did this to Oklahoma City a week ago. So there's no reason to think we can't do it again. And I think the, the real thing that comes out now is Eric Spolstra hasn't really brought a lot to Miami, and at least if he has, it hasn't come out yet. It's clearly on LeBron James and Dwayne Wade and a little bit on Chris Bosh on the floor to get it done because they're not running a lot of sets, Miami, especially late in the game when they need to do, when they really need some offense. It really just seems to put it in James' hands or put it in Wade's hands and fling it up and see what happens. That's not good enough. The big edge right now, I think, in this series, going down the rest of the way, is the head coaching. Dallas has a significant edge over Miami, and we'll see if that comes to fruition the rest of the way. Good job. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, guys.